Hello everybody and welcome to the thing that's been taking up all of my time recently. Yes, I am playing Euro Truck Simulator and I have absolutely no idea how to actually get out of here. I picked up this game a while ago. I picked this up in the uh, Steam Summer Sale. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to guess this way, but I picked this up in the Steam Summer Sale and decided that I finally wanted to play this. I picked it up in the Steam Summer Sale because supposedly it's a really good game for the Oculus Rift, um, and I have every intention sometime, I don't know when exactly, of getting the dev kit 2, the DK2, eventually. Don't know when, don't know where. You'll know when I know. And uh, how close was I to hitting that? I have no idea. <laughs> Probably a little too close for comfort. But I've been playing this for a little while because NerdCube did a video on it. He's got like it in the, 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 he had it in his humble bundle thing. It was the humble simulators bundle, which I would point out would probably have sold better if it was the humble NerdCube bundle, but he was just a curator. He didn't make it or anything like that. Um, so it convinced me to finally start playing it a little bit and, uh, here I am. I am level four. I've been playing this for a little while. I think I'm up to a couple hours. And uh, it's surprisingly good. I'm actually kind of surprised how good this is. I figured this would be one of the games like the F1 racing. Uh, like I had F1 2014 or something like that. What? What? Why? It's not that dark out. I got a headlight defense for doing nothing for not having my headlights on in an area that wasn't dark enough to have my headlights on yet. The UK has some very strange rules. I haven't left the UK yet. I know this is Euro Truck Simulator, but I haven't left the UK yet because I'm still just learning the UK street rules. Obviously, I'm not doing a very, very good job of it, but uh, so far, so good. I've only gotten... I think I've gotten one or two speeding tickets. I've hit a car... And, uh, I had a car hit me, and I was quite pissed off about that. Ooh, and then there's this that pisses me off to absolutely no end. Uh, there's no indication that that lane, the left lane there, is a, uh, exit-only lane. None whatsoever. I had no idea when I first started doing this. I got lost for a while because of that. I'm like, wait, why am I exiting? I didn't want to exit. This thing didn't say there was an exit-only lane. So I, I'm still getting used to all of the differences between U.S. and U.K. road r rules. Oh, there we go. Like, apparently, it's very rare to actually have a merge. Um, that sign right there, the, the, the blue sign with the three slashes right there, that indicates an exit coming up. Um, which I don't know if that lane ends... I don't know if that lane just goes off, it's an exit-only lane or whatever, I have no idea. Not a clue, as far as I can tell, there's no indication whatsoever. Oh, it's just a service lane. Um, it's also very, very confusing. I had no idea what these signs meant until today. None whatsoever. Like, there's this circle slash signs. These blue signs with a red circle slash. And uh, there's another sign with a... It's a blue sign with a red circle X, like an X over it. Like, uh, like, wait, wait, does this mean do not enter? But the GPS is telling me to go this way. Looked it up online, read the uh, UK's driver manual today. Uh, it just means no parking at any time. That's all it means. News to me, didn't know that. Um, don't drive in the UK, so I don't know. But, uh, I'm getting distracted by all the things that are going on. It is kind of hard to keep track of what I'm doing. Like, the speed limit's 50, and then there's signs up that says, uh, you know, there's speed camera, so i got to be careful. Uh, I'm going straight here. I'm going through London, apparently. It's mildly creepy, but okay. Um, that sign says the left lane is going to Sheffield, if I'm pronouncing that properly. I'm not going to Sheffield, so I'm going to stay in this lane right here. I gotta be really careful, because this game really encourages proper driving. Because you get fined over the littlest goddamn things. 
like I was coming onto a road and it was a merge. It was an actual merge. Not like uh, what I, what you're seeing here where the on-ramp just turns into its own lane, which is kind of a common thing. Uh, Flexow, Flexow. I believe that's where I'm going. So I think I need to be somewhere around in the left lane. Or the right lane, I should say. The far lane there. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm just following the GPS. Just keeping track of everything. Ooh, I'm driving the Volvo. I like the Volvo. It seems to have a little bit extra horsepower, or maybe I'm just not carrying that much. I'm not sure, but I'm probably going to buy it when I actually buy my own truck. Um, I've completed a dozen or so missions. Uh, that's another sign that confused the hell out of me. That white sign with the black slash in it. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Um, I looked it up in the manual, and it's, uh, this, it's basically saying that the speed limit is the national speed limit. So, like, uh, in the U.S., if you're driving down the highway and there's no street, there's no speed signs, that means that you're going uh, 55, which I believe... Uh, well, it varies from state to state, but um, I believe the national speed limit is 55 in the U.S. They lowered it because of gas prices and stuff like that. I don't think they ever raised it back up again. Um, but, yeah, if there's no signs, you're going 55. Well... In the UK, if you see a sign that's white with a black slash in it, that means you're supposed to go to the national speed limit. Which, on a road like this, which is a divided... Oh, what did they call it? I actually forget what they called it. But it's like a divided highway kind of thing. That's what we call it. Um, it's... it's uh, the speed limit is... 70 miles per hour for cars and... 60 miles per hour for trucks. And as you can see, I'm not even going 50. Um, I don't have that much control over the truck yet. I'm not that good at it. I think this would be so much better if I actually had the Oculus. Um, yeah, I think this would just be easier if I could see where I'm going. If I could just turn my head and look instead of having to use the thumbstick Ooh. to position my, position my face. But, anyways, uh, so, yeah, I was coming up a merge like the one we just passed. Oop, rumble strips. And, uh, you know, I looked in my mirror. There was nobody coming. There was nobody on the highway. It was middle of the night. Nobody on the highway. I'm like, okay, so I started merging. And I was the entire way into the lane. The cab itself was in the lane, basically. And it was straight in the lane. I was just waiting for the... What do I call that? The trailer? I guess the, the piece in the back. The giant ass piece in the back that I was lugging around. I was just waiting for that to straighten out. And all of a sudden I heard this thunk. And a bong. And, I, and I'm like, what the crap? And I saw in my mirror there was this little car smashed right into the back end of the cab. Not into the, not into the uh, trailer, but to the cab. So... And there's another one where it doesn't indicate that it's an exit-only lane. At least I'm not seeing anywhere where it's indicating it's an exit-only lane. And I've played this enough where it's like, I should have seen it. If it said it somewhere, I should have seen it. And these roads look so bloody tiny. Um, are there any of my viewers in the UK who actually, like, drive in the UK that can tell me? Is, is this indicative of driving in the UK? Uh, because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, anyways, so uh, the wreck that I was in where some guy sped down the highway, and I actually think it's kind of awesome that there are cars that do speed down the highway, uh, but it sped down the highway, hitting me after I was already in the lane, uh, and I got ding dinged for it. I got a 400 euro fine for it. I'm like, wait, what? No, that was not my fault, damn it. All right. I have no idea if this is apparently an exit lane, but apparently I'm going this way, so I'm just going to stay in this lane. Um, but yeah, I, I really do like this game. It's encouraged me to basically learn how to drive in the UK. Um, I don't plan on actually going there and driving, but uh, I mean, I read the instruction manual for about 20 minutes. 
not long. See, there we go. Okay, so this exits, so it is an exit-only lane, but before we saw the same kind of thing, and it wasn't the exit-only lane. I, I, I don't understand. There are a few things in the UK that I don't understand at all. Like, uh, do you guys not have stop signs in the UK? Seriously, because, I mean, they're, they're like, I saw one, one stop sign in the entire UK so far. Um... And it was going to Cardiff. Which obviously, which brings up another question of mine. Is Cardiff just like a joke like New Jersey is in the US? Or is it like an actual bad place to go to? Like, you know what? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to keep going with that sentence. But uh, yeah, is, is it just a joke? Or possibly it's just a Doctor Who joke that showed up at some point in the original series that they decided to keep in the new series that I never got because I never watched the entirety of the original series. Um, what's the speed limit around here? I don't know. That services. I don't need to worry about that yet. Still have about a half a tank of gas. I'm always leaving with half a tank of gas. Uh, nobody. I've, I'm always using somebody else's truck. I haven't bought my own truck yet. But every time I go somewhere, they always give me half a tank of gas. Why? One would think that you would fill the tank that way that the person driving doesn't have to stop and you can get your cargo delivered that much faster. One would think, but apparently not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't own a truck yet. As I said, I'm probably going to buy one of these Volvos because they look kind of nice, actually. And they seem to drive fairly well. Uh, I own... I still have... I haven't upgraded my... Uh, garage yet it's still that uh, tin box that you get at the very beginning that apparently I've never even been arsed to clean out the backyard of I mean I don't know about you but uh, I, I have you know help people buy property and the first thing that you do when you buy property while you're still hit being hit with the whole crap I just spent this much money on property you always, always do as much cleanup as physically possible without paying for it. You always do as much as possible without paying for it. So, um, yeah, I, I, nothing, nothing in there has been cleaned up at all. It's a mess, but that's okay because I never go there. I haven't seen the place since I first started. And I love the traffic cameras. They're act they're, they actually exist in this game. It's just not a magically th magical thing. It, they actually exist in the game. Oh, are we getting near London? I thought I passed that exit. Traffic's starting to slow down. Though I've noticed there's a lot of similarities between the UK... The, well, what is being portrayed as UK driving and what is what is U.S. driving. There are all kinds of assholes in this game. And I'm just going to straight up say it. There are serious assholes in this game. And I love that they put this, put the assholes in there. Like, you'll see... I mean, look at that. Did you see that? He tried to change lanes and he changed right back. That's actually pretty awesome. Um, and, uh, I've, I've witnessed several wrecks already. Um... Apparently, that's a do not enter. Okay. Apparently, there are places that are just completely blocked off that I cannot drive down. Um, I guess I'm not allowed to go deeper into the cities because I'm a, just a trucker. I don't know. Which is probably a wise course of action. I've watched truckers go into places that they really shouldn't have gone into. My watch is vibrating a lot. My watch vibrates when I get, like, email or phone call or something like that. Um, I don't know why. My back is starting to itching. It's really, really hot in here. Um, I need to get over. Thank you, buddy. Oh, wow, that guy did get... That guy saw my turn signal and got out of my way. Oh, that is awesome. I love this game. I really, really do. Just the little details like that. I was wondering if the cars would be smart enough to recognize that you want to change lanes, and they are. Oh god, that's amazing. Um, 
I do. I mean, just the little details in this game are really, really amazing. I do kind of get pissed off at about a few things in this game. Um, but I don't know if they're just because that's how it is in the UK or if it's the game not properly representing the UK. I don't know. Like I said, if I have anybody that's watching this in the UK, let me know. Uh, because I've never driven in the UK myself. Um, I'm also mildly curious. There's a Euro Truck Simulator. Is there a US simulator? Or possibly an upgrade to the Euro Truck Simulator that I can drive in the US? I mean, yeah, okay, the UK, uh, is probably, you know, the size of New York. Uh, and the entirety of Europe could fit in the northeastern quarter of the US. But it would still be pretty cool. Um, speed limit 50, alright, I'm going less than 40. I gotta pay attention to the GPS, because I'm sure I'm gonna miss it if I keep talking. Oh, speed limit 30, because we are in a construction zone. Oh, I'm in Flextow. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I'm here. Somewhere. In Flextow. But, yeah, I mean, construction zones, I mean, you don't see anybody working. Oh, holy shit! Just when I say you don't see anybody working, I see people working. Oh god, this is cool. I really, really, really like this game. Alright, I don't know if I need to be in this lane or the next lane. I'm not sure. Um, I'm looking at the GPS ahead, and it seems to say that I want to kind of go to the right, but it also seems to suggest that I'm kind of already going to the right. Um, oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. It's a roundabout. I hate roundabouts. I really, really do. I've only seen one while I was driving in real life in the U.S., I think it was in North Carolina. Um, and roundabouts in the U.S. are a little bit different because obviously they go counterclockwise instead of clockwise. And I say obviously because we drive on the other side of the road. That's something that took me a little while to get the hang of, is driving on the left side of the road here. Because I'm just so used to driving on the right side of the road. Oh, and then there's that. Like, that guy was an asshole. Completely cut the one guy off. And that guy stopped. That guy's a dick. <sighs> I guess I should have... Oh! Shit. I went the wrong way. Eh, I can go around. See, I need to be over here. <sighs> I was supposed to go straight at that roundabout, as weird as that sounds. Um, rental truck dealer discovered. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then there's the do not enter signs there. Those are the same for the UK, the do not enter signs. That thing right there, that re that blue sign with the red circle and two X's, I thought that was a do not enter sign. So I went to turn there one day, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm not supposed to go that way. So I turned around, I pulled a Yui, <laughs> and just realized that, no, no, I'm, I'm supposed to go that way. All right, this time, remember, I need to go straight on the roundabout, not around on the roundabout. Why are there people stopped on the roundabout? Seriously. You're... N I really, really doubt you're supposed to stop on the roundabout. At all. I really, really doubt that you are. But, yeah. Um... So, this is... This is entertaining so far. I'm sweating like a madman. Um, this game is actually a little bit stressful. Uh, I, I really like this game. I would highly recommend playing this game. Um, I would also recommend playing it with a, uh, controller. Like, I'm playing with a 360 controller right now. No, I'm not cheating. I have every intention of trying to park this thing like you're supposed to. I don't know if I'm going to succeed at it. I'm definitely not going to succeed right now because I'm pointed way the wrong way. Let us straighten out a bit. All right. And we'll put it in reverse. I love the sound. I mean, it's a little weird that your head goes through the window, like right there. But I love how the sound changes. Let's 
turn a little bit. This takes concentration. I mean, whoa. All the truckers that can actually do this, holy shit. You guys are, like, amazing. <laughs> whoa, no, other way, other way. F having the controls reversed, because I'm looking backwards, is a little disorienting. Um, I bet you I could do this better with a steering wheel and the Oculus Rift. Whoa, oh, other way, other way, other way, other way. I think I'm gonna miss. Nope, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Easy, easy, easy. Nope, hard turn the other way, hard turn the other way. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Uh, drive. Need to turn this way. I'm already there. So let's go forward a bit. And then straighten up. Let's get a little bit more information on this side. Alright. Let's try back it up again. In case you're wondering, I am using an automatic. Uh, just because I do not have the skill set to run a 10 gear transmission. At least 10 gears. Oh, it's not going to accept it, you bastard. Alright, wait, which way do I need to go? I need to go this way. Oh, oh, now it is. Eh, good enough. All right, there we go. That was fun. <laughs> uh, ooh, I got 232 euros proficiency. Oh, because I'm level four. Um, did I get dinged for anything? I got dinged for the headlight thing. That's actually pretty good. Um, I didn't get any speeding tickets and nothing like that. Um, well, yeah, let me give me your feedback on this game. I quite enjoy this game. I highly recommend playing this game. Um, I guess if you want me to, to see me play it more, just let me know. Um, I might play it more just because I've been playing this game a lot recently, and I'm just having so much fun with it. Um, so, yeah, I will end the episode here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.